listen to this. In the second chapter of the book, I go in search of common strands of musical DNA, patterns that have recurred across centuries and continents. I talk about the Chacon, and also about a descending bass line of lament that appears everywhere from Baroque opera to songs of Bob Dylan. We can see how he tries to, uh, to uh, make music or parts of the music accessible to, uh, to people by explaining what he calls strands of musical DNA. Musical DNA in the sense that structurally you can find it in a lot of pieces, but this does not say anything about, about it actually, because the context in which it appears and the way it's played, this, this you can uh, relate to the feeling of a lamento or another feeling. Or, mm -hmm. No, not the fact that, okay, you have this descending bass. For example, the last thing, the bass mm -hmm. of the blues, not bass, it was infinitely but not a bass. That is not a lamento, it's just a chromatic, mm -hmm. chromatic line. So, so actually he's kind of mixing up things. Yeah, right? you see this, this structure, ah, look, it's a lamento, it's a chromatic descending line, you have to cry. So it's an idea. So the thing is that this uh, sends listeners into only trying to identify structures and not really to listening and to be uh, in direct uh, contact with what's happening mm -hmm. one on stage or whatever, wherever. Because actually each example is different. Yes, each is different. It's specific, it's mm -hmm. on the basis of something identical or something uh, um, yeah. common. And this is also very interesting to know because it's mm -hmm. interesting to find out how things are linked how they evolve from one another, only that uh, maybe the, uh, the emphasis or the contact to mm -hmm. the listener trying to, uh, to help him come near the music should be via this listening, finally, direct contact listening, not to be uh, dropping ideas into his head, but... Not accumulating yeah. more knowledge only. Yeah. Because it's also nice to that it's someone to know, yeah. knows that the Chacona is called Chacona, then... Uh, but then the risk is he has the illusion that he knows something. So he stops at identifying, not at living mm -hmm. what he perceives. Mm -hmm. This is maybe the danger of... Of... Uh, too much knowledge into... Yeah, I mean, the, on the other side, it helps you not to get completely lost if you go to a yeah. concert. Yeah and you go there and you don't understand anything of what's happening, at least you recognize, ah, pa 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 pa, yeah. that's the fate. Yeah, Nothing so we're not excluding this, only that uh, maybe this is not the emphasis. Or, or this is not the end. This the is not end, the exactly. End point. The it cannot end. be all <laughs> what it's been there. Yeah. You, you leave your DNA, you don't know the structure of it, mm -hmm. you just live it. Yeah. So the, the fact that you have the DNA in a certain way, uh, this has a function in your whole, in your body, mm -hmm. your personality and so on. But you don't care that it's made like this, yeah, yeah, like yeah. this. You, you live it. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. If you go to a concert, yep. you integrate it. Okay, that's a Chacona, that's Lamento Bay, aha. Uh -huh. But is there really the common point between all these things? Is it just the idea of it or is there something more? Until now, it's, it seems that in this way of counting things... Mm -hmm. I mean, because examples like this, we find... For example, what were you saying uh, in the Romanian music, no? A sort of lamento... Lamento, <laughs> lamento motif. Yeah, repeated and so on. So it, and you can find I'm sure in every music. And does it happen that it is also in the bass? Yes. <laughs> because I also I told you already from Venezuelan music mm -hmm. when you have the Moliendo Cafe, for example.
the rhythm, but uh, but the problem is that this you can find everywhere. Yeah, for example, the Beethoven Fifth Symphony, no? fourth mm -hmm. movement. Yeah. We could analyze it, or we would be able to listen to mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can go, for example, with the idea that mm -hmm. it's the final, it's the majestic, it's the coronation, it's the when the hero uh, wins exactly. over the fate. Yeah. Over fate. Or you can just go and leave it. Uh -huh. So not knowing, ah, I know that Beethoven wanted this, but that's not interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting is to live it. So you know already the example. So, I will read so the idea was uh, uh, how, it, how it sounds usually is big sound, big sound majestic yeah. and everything. Let's try it from, from yeah. the later ones. <laughs> So again, again. Yeah, let's uh, try this. Yeah. You know, as we usually hear it. Yeah, okay. Let's try to do something. Some music. Some music, no? <laughs> <laughs> that was cha chi cha. You have to go from the <laughs> to open this fifth, and then <laughs> come back a bit, not so much. Yeah, yes, but it's no. Going back with in a very clear way. It's not mm. First time yeah. we have the This motif. And then So questions that we put for ourselves are, for example, which is the biggest point which unifies this whole big structure, mm -hmm. also for the listener, because mm -hmm. so he's come with us. So is it this one? Or the third time it comes. So second time. And then. Mm -hmm. This is what we're also we trying to, to find out. Where, is it, where it leads to. Where it leads to. Where it's, uh, and this can only be done yeah, by listening. We cannot. Yeah. I could say, yeah, uh, I prefer it here because I like it here. And you could say, yeah, but I, I prefer it here because it's this. We're looking for how it's done, finding. Mm -hmm. Because we have the experience that with this composer, this uh, Ludwig, yeah. that he... <laughs> Ludwig van. That he, uh, uh, he looked for it. His looking for was how this piece c could come together, how it could be a one, how it could yep. be one thing and not, yeah, this or that, or, or maybe this, or maybe maybe one bar more, or two more, so what do you think, yep. maybe three, or each bar has to have a clear function and not, which has to be revealed in the way it's played, mm -hmm. of course, and, uh, to what we are doing.
what it already lives in us. And we try to find how it could, how we could find our way in that moment, this moment, to do this yeah. way we already know. You have to leave, to, to let yourself a chance to be, to look for the answer in the moment. And not only stay with what we know. Uh, we know mm -hmm. it's Chacona, we know it's uh, La Mento line. Yeah. So, no, no, it's fantastic, but what does it bring us? Where does it bring us? In that moment, we knew already all the, the other trials we did before. We, need, we, we knew already the material. And yeah. it's not that we knew it better that last time. Mm -hmm. But we permitted for ourselves to find it in the moment.